to Morning Coffee. It's Megan here with another video on organization, goal getting, productivity, and personal growth. I share resources here so that you can pursue your own version of what more looks like in your life. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we are going to talk about how to focus and prioritize in on the things that are most important to you. Speaking of goal setting, I set a goal for 2020 to add a thousand subscribers to this YouTube channel so that we can be a community that supports each other while we work to better our lives. Please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I share a new video all about topics just like this one. Thank you so much for considering subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. I wanted to start by sharing a thought that came to me last night. I was reading a book. The current book that I'm reading is all about being a blogger. And the first ch two chapters were all about who I am as a creator and who you are as an audience. What are the things that I um, am interested in that I want to help you with? What are the issues that you are having? And what are the things that you are seeking help with? And I had this really interesting thought about productivity. It's kind of a crazy world right now. We're all kind of trying to figure out how to navigate this season of having all this extra time on our hands, being at home, and what should we be doing during that time? You certainly see messages in the media about, you know, you need to make the most of this time and you have to stay productive and stay rigid and stay on a schedule. And then you see other people saying like, this is the time to rest. This is the time to relax. This is the time not to push yourself. And I feel like not only is that a balance that we're all seeking right now, that's also a balance that we're all seeking overall in our, in our lives. Nobody pictures the best version of themselves or pictures the best version of their life and sees someone who is stressed out and crazed and running around everywhere and completely anxious and overwhelmed by the amount of things that they have to do. No one is going to look at their lives and think that that is what they want. Today's modern woman really wants a life that feels whole and balanced and well-rounded and it's never going to be perfect, but something that feels good to her. And so I had this thought and I wanted to share it with you, which is productivity is not an action. Productivity is a feeling. Productivity isn't about going and doing all of the things, doing everything and checking everything off your list and that nothing matters more than just doing things. Productivity is a feeling, a feeling that you are moving forward in your life, that you are focusing on the things that are important to you and you are making progress towards making them more, making something in your life that is good more joyful or more restful or easier or more financially stable or any of these things. So I kind of wanted to start out this video by saying productivity is a feeling. It's not an action and productivity looks completely different to every single person. Sometimes rest is productive. If that is something that means something to you in your life right now, then rest is absolutely something that you should be pursuing. When, you, when it comes to approaching your productivity, the best way that you can make sure that you're focusing on the things that are important to you is to prioritize and to set up systems to help you focus on those priorities every day. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's get started with the tips. My number one tip for focusing and prioritizing what is important to you in your life is to have goals and most importantly, to write them down. I talked about this in another video, but you are 42% more likely to accomplish a goal that you write down. I think that there is a misconception about goals, that they have to be these big, huge, lofty, social media approved things, right? You have to want a vacation in Hawaii or have a perfectly organized pantry, or you have to want to make millions of dollars as an influencer. And that's just not true. Goals are personal to you. It can be everything from, I wanna figure out a better lunch system for my kids for packing their lunches for school. I want to talk to my mom every week. I want to find recipes that I can share with my neighbors. 
those are all things that might be goals of yours. Goals don't have to be these big, crazy, huge things. They can just be anything that would improve the quality of your life. Anything that would take something good in your life or something that's troublesome in your life and make it better. Writing down goals, as simple as they are, is the best way that you can make sure you're working on those goals. I shared a blog post once called Why Goals Are So Important. And that blog post talks about that goals are important because they give you directional signals on what to work on. When I look at a huge list of things to do and I'm wondering which things I should do first or the ones that I should focus on, I always just have to remind myself which one of these tasks helps me accomplish my three big goals. Goals are important because they tell you where to focus and where to prioritize. So having goals and writing them down is a huge tip that I have in terms of focusing and prioritizing in your life. Not only do you need to have them, but you need to revisit them regularly. You can't just set goals once at the beginning of the year and then it, never check in on them again and expect that you're going to make progress. You need to monitor and check in on them more regularly. A great way to do that is to do, set quarterly goals. If you set some goals earlier in January and you haven't checked in on them yet, now is a great time to do it. We're still in April, which is the beginning of a new quarter of the year. It is a great time to look back on those goals that you set in January. If you didn't set any goals in January, but you feel like it would be a good move for you right now, there are no rules for setting goals. You do not have to set them in January for them to work. You can have a new start and a fresh start any old time you want to. Any quarter, any month, any week, any day of the week, it doesn't matter. I recently have a whole video all about planning for the quarter. I'm gonna share that above. And that video includes a free printable with quarterly planning sheets. I'm going to link those down below. You don't even have to give me an email address or anything to get them. Just click down below and you can get two quarterly planning sheets that will help you set goals and focus areas for the next section of your life, the next quarter. So from now through June, make sure you check out that link below so you can get that resource. My next tip for focusing and prioritizing has to do with something that I do weekly, which I call my weekly refocus. Every weekend when I sit down to look ahead and plan the next week, I take a little bit of time to fill out a couple of questions, prompts, if you will, about things that are working in the last week, things that I've struggled with in the last week, I jot down all the things that I'm working on for the coming week, as well as any big important deadlines or dates that are coming in the next week. Luckily for you, I have a free printable with my weekly refocus prompts in it. I'm gonna link that below. You can go ahead and click on that, print it out at home, and you can use the system to help keep you focused every single week. Sometimes a question as simple as, what am I working on right now? can help clarify in your own brain that these things are my priorities. These are the things that I really need to be focusing on right now. So that is another great way that you can keep yourself focused and prioritize by taking a few quick minutes to check in with yourself every week and remind yourself of the things you're working on. Now that we've talked about what you can do to focus and prioritize on a quarterly and weekly basis, let's talk about what you can do every day. Every day, I identify my top three. So that would be three things that I can do that day that are the most important things for me to do. I think one of the things that most of us struggle with when it comes to productivity is we tend to busy ourselves with quick, easy, simple tasks. And I struggle with this too because um, nothing is more satisfying than being able to like check something off your to-do list, right? Like nothing feels more satisfying than like crossing something off. And in pursuit of that instant satisfaction, we can concentrate on things like vacuuming the living room or um, reorganizing a silverware drawer or whatever it is. And really those things, while they certainly are nice and are definitely something that has to get done at some point, those really aren't the needle movers in your life. Those aren't the things that are going to long-term improve the quality of your life. 
And that is where we all kind of have a hard time with productivity is we tend to focus on simple, easy things because it feels good to cross them off instead of working on things that are more long-term projects where you don't get the satisfaction of completion right away. So setting a top three for the day is a great way to make sure you're working on the things that are really going to impact you long term. I use my planner for this. I have a day designer planner and at the top of every day it asks for my top three tasks. So that is what I use for personal use. And then I do use some extra space on my planner to jot down a top three for work as well if that day is a work day. You don't have to have a special planner for this, by the way. You can simply use a post-it. You can put a note in your phone. You can jot it down on a scratch piece of paper or a notebook, whatever works for you. But finding a way to identify three important actions that have to get done that day is a great way to stay focused. It will remind you that if nothing else gets done in the day, you can say that you did those three things and those three things were really important to you. When you're focusing on the important things, it makes you feel like you're moving forward and making progress, even if everything on your list isn't crossed off. For my last tip, I actually have a little bit of a troubleshooting exercise for you. This exercise is based on Stephen Covey's time management matrix. And essentially what it is, is you make a huge list of everything that is on your to-dos. And then you take each item and you prioritize it into four different categories. Things that are urgent and important. Things that are important, but not urgent things that are urgent but not important, and things that are neither urgent nor important. Taking the time to sort your tasks using those two factors is a really great way to help you identify what should be a priority. Sometimes, let's be real, with all of the roles that we fill in our lives, employee, mother, daughter, sister, wife, friend, all of these things, our to-do lists are often long and it can be hard to decide what priorities should be. This matrix is a fantastic way to kind of work through it with yourself and start to identify the things that are important and urgent in your life. And the whole idea is that you should be focusing most of your attention on items that are urgent and important or important, not urgent. Those things are what are needle movers, things that are going to actually make progress towards you living the life that you want to be living. Again, that is linked below if you want to just print that out and keep that on hand for when you are especially busy or have an especially long list. I tend to pull this out in situations where I just feel like my brain is full and have and like there's tons of things going around and I quite can't like focus where I need to prioritize. I keep this sheet on hand to use in times like that. I hope you found all of those tips helpful on how you can focus and prioritize the things that really matter to you in your life. Again, productivity looks completely different for each individual person. And it's my hope that these tips help you identify what productivity means to you and what it means for you in your life right now. Comment below with anything that you are planning to work on in the next couple months here that you've identified as a focus and a priority. I'd love to hear what you're working on right now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos like this. And I will be back again with videos on Wednesday and Sunday about defining and moving towards the life of your dreams. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.